Hello everyone, this is Alija E. Pulalon, BS in Criminology, Section Alpha. I will be your presenter for today. So for today, I will be presenting you the history, creation, mandates and function, composition, controversies, and qualification and compensation of human rights, and CHR personnel. So creation. After the ratification of the 1987 Philippine Constitution on February 2, 1987, which provides for the establishment of Commission on Human Rights, President Corazon Aquino signed in Executive Order No. 163 on May 5, 1987, creating the Commission on Human Rights and abolished the Presidential Committee on Human Rights. The Commission was created as an independent office mandated to investigate complaints of human rights violations, promote the protection, respect for, and the enhancement of the people's human rights, including civil and political rights. During the Duterte administration on July 24, 2017, during his State of the Nation Address, or SONA, Philippine President Rodrigo Roa Duterte said that the commission was better abolished. The CHR responded in a statement that only change to the 1987's constitution could possibly abolish it. Mandates and functions of Commission of Human Rights in the Philippines. The commission derived its mandates from the constitution, relevant domestic laws, and the eight core international human rights instrument to which the Philippines is the state party, as well as United Nations human rights conventions newly enforced. So, under Section 18, Article 13 of the Philippine Constitution, the government has a duty to protect civil and po political rights of citizens in the Philippines. Based on the Philippine Constitution, the Commission has a broad mandate which can be categorized into three major functional areas. So, first, human rights protection. Human rights protection is investigation and case management of complaints of violations, including all the powers and services in aid of investigation, civil and political rights, as, as well as economic, social, and cultural rights, such, are, such as powers and services include citing for contempt for violation of its rules of procedure, legal aid, and counseling, visitorial powers over jails, and detention facilities. Application of forensic technique in aid of investigation, with witness protection and financial assistance to victim. Secondly, human rights promotion, which includes in the wide range of strategies for policy, advocacy, promotion, social mobilization, education, training, public information, communication research, networking, and linkages. Third. Human Rights Policy Advisory, it derives from monitoring government's compliance with a treaty obligation that Philippines has acceded to International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights or ICCPR, International Covenant on Economic, Social and Cultural Rights or ICESCR, Convention Against Torture and Other Degrading Treatment or Punishment or CAT, Convention of the Elimination of All Forms of Di Discrimination Against Women, or CDAW. Convention Against Racia Racial Discrimination, or CRED. Convention on the Human Rights of the Child, CRC. Convention on the Protection of Migrant Workers and Their Families, CMW. Convention on the Human Rights of Persons with Disabilities, or CRPD. This also includes the entire aspect of monitoring and evaluating the performance of the executive, legislative, and judiciary to translate international human rights standard into national policies and law, laws and practice. CHR as a constitutional office under the Article 9 of 1987 Constitution, three constitutional commissions were established, namely the Commission on Election or COMELEC, the Civil Service Commission, or CSC, and the Commission on Audit, or COA. The Commission on Human Rights, or CHR, on the other hand, was created under the Article 13, Section 17 of the 1987 Constitution and the Administrative Code of 1987. So that 
composition. The chairperson and commissioners of the commission have fixed seven-year terms with Gaskin serving as the commission's chairperson until May 5, 2022. So, the qualification of CHR chairperson are as follows. A natural-born citizen of the Philippines, at least 35 years of age, and has not been a candidate for any elective position preceding their appointment. So, if you want to apply with the position title of Director 3 with an annual salary of 1046748 you must be a master degree or certificate in leadership and management from CSC training with 120 hours of supervisory management learning and development intervention undertaken with the last five years. Experience your experience must be five years of supervisory management, experience in eligibility, career service professional, second, levels eligibility, number of vacancy or vacancies. So that's the end of my presentation. Thank you for watching.